Okay, in answer to a quick question received over the email for a tutorial solution, um, we were given a particular waveform and it's shown below. And the question you're asked is to, for the pulse waveform shown, determine the duty cycle. So let's have a look at the waveform. Okay, first thing we notice is that if we look on the uh, x axis, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units. It's in time and the units are in milliseconds. So each one of these represents a millisecond. And the y-axis, the amplitude, is measured in volts. Now we're looking for the duty cycle. So uh, when we talk about the duty cycle, we're looking for how much the pulse is high and how much of time the pulse is low. So what, do we can tell, what can we tell from the pulses? First of all, we have some time associated with the width of when the pulse is on. And we have another time that represents the actual period of the pulse. That's the amount of time it takes to do one complete cycle. So we start high, going low, to when it starts to go high again. Now, if we measure these times, the time width here goes from 1 to milliseconds. Tw is equal to 2 milliseconds. And the period goes from 0 to 4. So period t is equal to 4 milliseconds. So let's change pens. So if we look at duty cycle, is equal to Tw over T multiplied by 100%, which is 2 milliseconds divided by 4 milliseconds multiplied by 100%, which gives you 50%.